good afternoon. It's our third day in Seoul, Korea. And today we are going on a tour of the National Palace Museum, mm -hmm. which is just behind us. Yeah, we're at Gyeongbuk Palace. Mm -hmm. um, we actually got stopped at the subway by some stu student volunteer yeah. offering to give us a free hour tour yep. of the palace. So that's neat. Yeah. Um, they're right at the entrance, like when, well, they're right at the exit uh, when you're heading to the palace. So if you want to know more about the palace and its history, um, hopefully it's a good tour actually. Yeah, yeah. We don't know. Um, so it's about an hour long. Yeah. Uh, that's what or, our tour guide says. Or uh, they could cater it to like how long you need. Maybe not over an hour, but like if you have shorter time, you could do shorter time. Yeah, exactly. So you may see her in this video Yeah. Um, as she points out some things to us and gives us some background. Yeah. Uh, you also see some people wearing the traditional garb. Uh, what's it called? Han Hanbok. 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 Yeah. 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 So if you uh, rent the costume, then you actually get to enter the palace for free. Yeah. So let's, let's go. go. So each ticket was 3,000, 6,000 for two people, which is just under six US dollars. This used to be filled with water. It's a moat that surrounds a palace um, and it served the purpose of separating the king, the royal family, from the commoners. The commoners. Um, and that and those, it's also said that... And that those who would cross because of the water, it would like purify you before entering into the palace. Oh, and another fact is that there are three entrances at each of the three gates, with the middle one being where the king uh, and the royals enter, uh, with the left and right being for uh, other guests. Officials. Yep. We're standing in front of the third gate right now, and uh, the center entrance is the sidewalk leading up to is elevated to put the king on a higher elevation compared to everybody else here. But at the steps is an image of uh, something like a phoenix. It's called a hung ho. Um, I'm probably pronouncing that extremely wrong, but uh, uh, and that represents prosperity and what our tour guide was saying was that if that creature appears it means that the country uh, is full and is happy and so that symbol is a reminder for the king to keep the country happy and full so in this main courtyard in front of the main building are uh, these things called ranking stones and they look like tombstones almost uh, and they have a uh, script on it telling telling people where they the sit uh, based on their ranking so the closer you are to the main building the higher your ranking and the lower the further back you are uh, so these bolts uh, these rings are for tents uh, and so in the case of rain yeah. uh, they put tents up and it only covers the three front ranks three people everyone else everyone else getting wet yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what is that? The throne, y'all. Uh. The throne. And here is a moon, sun, and five pigs, and pine trees, waterfalls, and water. And this means uh, the king's word. So the sun means king, the moon means queen, and five pigs means the uh, five mountains around the Seoul, also the Korean Peninsula. And the pine trees means officials, and the water means what means uh, commoners. So it all means the king's word. And the reason that throne is in the middle of the, this picture, it says that king is in the middle of the world. Oh wow. So it is like also the, it means a king also. So everywhere that where kings go, this picture follows. Okay. So mm. after king died, they burn this picture mm. and they do a new one. Very with. Oh picture. wow. Office. 
King's office. This is where he does his grind. What? Yeah. So just behind the main palace or the, the main building are the, uh, King's, are the offices. King's offices. Not one, two, but three. Uh, the center is used for uh, the warmer months and then the left and right are used during autumn and winter because those are the ones that were built uh, with ondo which is floor heating you can see the two like holes, openings where they, openings where they put the wood and then yeah it, uh, it, it would heat the yeah. floor it operates like a furnace and yeah. they use wood uh, that is burnt at the entrance of the furnace and then the wind helps to carry the heat uh, under the office and which heats, is sort of hollow and heats uh, the stones and it yeah helps yep so that's pretty cool um, you also notice that there's a lot of green paint on the buildings because green is a symbolic color yellow or gold is the supreme color but uh, the Koreans decided to use uh, green as a main color because yellow was used by the Chinese at the time uh, and so they wanted to not have any conflicting interests and maintain peace between the two countries and so they decided to use green uh, for uh, as a main color of these buildings. These are the king's sleeping quarters. Now here are his security. Yep, uh, and he changes his uh, room or position every, every night. Every night, so no one knows exactly where he's sleeping. Smart guy. It's a pretty big living room. Behind the king's quarters are the queen's quarters. She's uh, at the back of the palace. On the corners of the buildings, uh, on the roofs, are uh, these figures that help protect the homes, and they're called chapsang. No, and the first ones. Oh, all our chapsang were the yeah, first. Oh yeah. Ones. yeah. Yeah. And this last one is it isn't. That is dragon. Dragon spice. Yeah. Okay. So the chapsang help to protect the homes from the uh, from fire, fire spirits. Yeah, from fire spirits. Especially during winter because they have the ondo and they're always. Uh, like, manning fires. Yeah, and heating it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah, they're really cute. Yeah. Like, I like the first one with the hat. Yeah. So this here is the grandma's chimney. It's super famous. And it's the largest of the complex because uh, old people get cold. Yeah. But it's really famous because of, I mean, it's construction and it's beautiful design, but also because it survived Japanese colonization and war. This is the original. You got to see it if you're here. It's so cool to walk around here and see people dressed up in their traditional clothing. In the humba. It, it kind of makes you feel like you're actually in the time period Look. or in a Netflix show. This is the club. This is the club? Yeah. What? <laughs> that wraps up the tour. That was super cool. Very informative. Yeah, so this is this was done by the Youth Cultural Corps. Um, that helps introduce Korean culture uh, to visitors. Yep. So if you do see um, any students, uh, in or I think orange shirts yeah. might be like their official color, but uh, if you see anyone who is representing the YCC, um, I do recommend to, to uh, take the tour. It's free. Um, it's about an hour long. Mm -hmm. And um, the students are very, well, she was very patient with us because we were stopping and taking photos and asking, you know, different questions. And, yeah. You know, she tried her best to, to help us uh, understand, like, what we're seeing. So, yeah, we recommend it. Yeah. If, if we didn't have that, we wouldn't know what the hell we would be looking at. <laughs> yeah, To exactly. be honest, we'd be like, wow, look, that's so pretty. That's a nice building. I know. We'd be like, what's this? Yeah. Like, no, she really, like, helped us yeah. get to know what we're looking at. Yeah, like, at. why things were what. Yeah, exactly. All the, all the way down to color schemes and yeah, uh, different neat. carvings. Uh, but, yeah, we'll, we'll walk around here a little bit more, and then I think we'll grab lunch. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry. They're filming something back there. Maybe it's the, maybe it's for Kingdom on Netflix, which is a really cool show.
Yo, that was so cool. I know. Uh, we had no idea that that was gonna be happening. We just saw like some of the people in costumes and then people making announcements. So we just waited about 10 minutes and uh, that was an epic show. That yeah, was, <laughs> that was your first time seeing that. Yeah, like, it was like so Korean cool. Style like, drumming. yeah, the costumes to uh, the ribbon twirling to the drums and they were very, uh, they owned it. It was all ladies. Yeah, dude, it was so cool and some acrobatics involved. Yeah, it was it was tight. It gave me some chills. I know. Um, I and if you come here, make sure you wait around because you might be able to catch the if show. You, if you hear drumming, it seems that they do it at different parts yeah. of the palace because. When we were walking to this spot, we heard uh, drumming happening uh, kind of like towards the front. Yeah. And then it came here, and now like they're processing to it another point. Yeah, and people are following, following them. them. So they may be like doing multiple like, shows. shows or something. At different stops, yeah. yeah. Oh, and the flag guy was so cool with the, the dragon, dragon flag. <laughs> yeah. Laura wanted to take a photo I of know, him because. It was He's a, a dragon. Yeah, she's a dragon, but I mean, they're continuing their, yeah. their, their march. Right, um, right. But I think we're gonna head out of here, Find grab something to eat, because we're starving. Yeah.